Today's lesson is Lesson 10, Sequences and Scales. Now, a sequence is an ordered list of numbers called terms that follow a certain rule. So here I need to describe the sequence. Is it an addition sequence or a multiplication sequence? So we're going to check. I go 1, 3, 9, 27. So to check, I can say, okay, isn't it addition sequence? If it's a sequence, I follow the same rule for every number. So I think, okay, how do I go from one to three? Well, if it's addition, I would add two. But then how do I go from three to nine? Well, that's plus four. Or not plus four, that's plus six. And then nine to 27 is plus 18. So the rule is not the same, so it cannot be addition. It's not that one. So that means it has to be multiplication. So I'm going to look again and think, okay, one times what is three? Well, one times three is three. And then three times three is nine, and nine times three is 27. Since the rule is the same, my rule is two times by three. Now I need to find the next term in the sequence. And I'll do that by doing 27 times three. Three times seven is 21, carry my two. Three times two is six, plus two is eight. So the next number in my sequence is 81. So let's try to find some other terms. So here we have 18, 27, 36, 45. And from looking at this, it looks like it's going to be an addition sequence. But let's look. Uh, let's take 27 and minus by 18 to see what I get. Okay, so that's a 9. So let's see if the rule is to add 9 each time. So 18 plus 9 is 27. 27 plus 9, so 7 plus 9 is 16, carry my 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, 36, that's the next term. And then 45, or uh, let's see, then we would do 36 plus 9 and see if we got 45, which we did. So the rule for this sequence is to add 9. So to find the next terms, I'm going to do first 45 plus 9, which equals 54. And then 54 plus 9, which is 63. And then 63 plus 9 is 72. Okay, so there are my sequence next numbers in the sequence. This next problem, our numbers go 1, 2, 4, 8. So this one's probably a multiplication problem. And if we look, we find that 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8. So my rule is 2 times 2. 8 times 2 is 16, 16 times 2 is 32, and then 32 times 2 is 64. Now, a next thing we can often see, um, we use, the second one is on scales, okay? So scales is a way to show numerical information. A mark on a scale can show a certain measure. So in this case, we have thermometers. And thermometers have special points on them. The boiling temperature of water is at 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius. Normal body temperature is about 98.6 Fahrenheit or 37 degrees Celsius. And freezing temperature of water is 32 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 degrees Celsius. So here I want to know what temperature is shown on the thermometer. Okay. 
So we have, we go from 0 to 10, so I need to figure out what my scale is. And we'll look to see how many tick marks are between the 0 and 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Since there are 5 tick marks in between each number, I know each of these tick marks equals 2 degrees. So it would be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 degrees Fahrenheit. My line on my thermometer goes to here, which is 4 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, what about this one? This is in the Celsius scale and Fahrenheit scale. So I'd look again, and I need to figure out what it is in both. And I'm going to take an estimate and get close. So on the Celsius scale, again, it's divided up into, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So to get from 20 to 30, in this case, I have to count by fives. Or, I have to count, sorry, I have to count by twos. So it would be 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. So the line is at about 22 degrees Celsius. On the Fahrenheit side, again, on this side we can see there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in between as well. So that would be 72... 74, 76, 78, 80. And the line is right at 72. So it's about 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. And that's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching.